What is up everybody? It's your boy Eric aka Wasted Beer Money and I'm here with another traveling knife. The traveling knife continues. This one was generously donated by North Star Knife Reviews for the guys to look at. Uh, I've been excited about this one. I'm the first to get my hands on the Kershaw Chill. Um, channels that are involved in this right now, uh, J.O. Ventures, Knife Delights, RJ's Knives, and like I said, North Star Knife Reviews. Now, North Star Knife Reviews uh, sent a couple gifts over. Um, I would say anyone that watches these videos, I'd highly recommend subscribing to all the channels, checking out the videos and, and the little differences all our channels have. These are all great guys and I highly recommend them. Uh, North Star Knife Reviews, uh, he's just got a great mix of content going on over there. Some modern, some traditional. And he recently just posted a video um, of some caribou antlers from Alaska that he's going to make some knife handles out of. Now, I don't particularly know. I just get just getting to know North Star Knife Review, so I don't know if this is something he does as a side job or just as a hobby. But one of the gifts he sent over is a beer bottle opener, which actually I really appreciate. I don't have an official channel beer opener. Um, I've been using this stupid little bicycle that I got at a wedding uh, from one of my wife's friends, but this will now be the official channel beer opener. It's actually a very nice handle. It's cool. It feels great in the hand. So thank you for that. And he also sent over, now I don't know if I'm going to say this right, this is a Kubuton. Uh, this is a little self-defense tool. Put it on your keychain. Uh, it's got a mu multiple different uses. I've actually been wanting one of these, so this is really cool like, when I opened the box and saw this. Um, different ways to hold it, but this is generally how you're going to hold it. It'll strengthen your punch. Uh, you can use this to stab or press on pressure points. Put your keys on here. It can also be used to, as kind of like a mace. I'm going to watch some more videos on how exactly to use this and uh, put it on my keychain. And hey, why not? Uh, the more, more stuff you have on you to protect yourself, the better. So uh, this is a cool little tool and thank you so much for sending this. This is really cool. I'm excited about this one. Um, but yeah, after this video, um, the knife will be going to RJ's Knives. Uh, another great channel. He has a nice mix of modern and traditional. Seems like a great guy. I'm just getting to know him. Me and him are going to be doing a sticker swap down the line. I think we're both out. <laughs> he just sent me an email the other day. Uh, but he, he's got a great channel going on over there. I just watched a video on a Benchmade readout. Um, and he just reached a thousand subs. So congratulate him and keep him rolling. Go over and give him a sub. He had a pretty cool uh, QSP, I believe it was a penguin he gave away. Uh, so that was very exciting. But uh, let's get into the star of the show here, the Kershaw Chill. Today I'm going to be pairing it with Sing Tao Premium Lager from China, because that's where this knife is made. And uh, I'm excited to try this one. I've had this in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Not sure what I was going to pair it with, but I've been wanting to try it. So uh, today's the day. So let's get into the knife review. All right, let's get into the Kershaw Chill. Now, first thing I noticed off the bat was these grippy G10 scales here, which I really like has a tip up or tip down carry. Um, I did move it to the tip up spot. Uh, this is right hand carry only, but I ended up putting it back into the tip down. Uh, I ended up liking the way that is. And actually the reason for that, I don't know if you guys will see, you have the two holes here and the two holes here. This one's more toward the top of the knife. This one has a little bit more space, so more sticks out of the pocket on this. Um, I'll show you guys in a little over video uh, what it's like in the pocket. Uh, body has T6 screws, also on the pocket clip. The pivot is a T8. And let's see, 
let's show this bad boy. Oh, one other thing. It is running on Teflon washers. This is not bearings. Kind of orient the knife a little bit. I don't know if you'll see it in there or not. We got two Teflon washers. So that does affect the action. And speaking of that, let's get into it. Beautiful knife. Now, as far as action goes, um, the D10 on this is a little bit light. Um, you really have to commit to opening it. It's very easy to fail. Um, it is a liner lock here. And the pass through, it gives you enough to grab onto there. It's not jimped or anything, but I haven't had any problems with it carrying it around. Um, but what I'm talking about with the action, if you don't really commit to it, you can fail it. Uh, push button, same deal. So you just gotta commit to it. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think the few times it's failed, um, you know, just flick it out and you are good to go. Um, it's got a very solid lockup. It's in about 50, 60%. Uh, so this blade's not going anywhere. There's no blade play up or down, left or right. It's a very solid knife. Um, taking a look at the blade, you have a nice drop point blade here uh, and a bead blast finish. This side, you got Kershaw there. And on the other side, Got an R.J. Martin design. I don't know too much about him uh, in researching a little bit. Looks like he's into customs. I, I think I typed his name in on uh, Blade HQ or um, SMKW or something, and the prices were like $3,000, $4,000 knives. So I'm like, yeah, that's great. Uh, not something I'll ever have, but hey, there's people out there for it. Uh, you got the steel, which is 8CR, 13MOV. Uh, which is a definitely a budget steal. Um, now, one thing I in looking at the price on this, uh, I found it on Amazon for twenty seven dollars. It's a little more expensive on Blade HQ twenty nine. Um, you're starting to creep into the realm of you're starting to get better steals in that price range, uh, like D two. Um, but it, you know this is very corrosion resistant. And I mean, I like this steel. Um, it's cheap, but it's easy to sharpen. And uh, this one's held its edge very well. I haven't gone crazy with it because it's not my knife, but uh, it came very sharp. Uh, I'm not sure if North Star Knife Review sharpened this or not, but um, I'll do a little over video here showing you how sharp it is. Uh, as far as ergos go, it is very comfortable in the hand. Now I have short little pudgy fingers. Um, but I got a nice four finger grip on here. Not something you are going to want to choke up on. I can't stand when certain channels tell you, you know, you can go over the blade and do a put. No, that's stupid. You're on the blade. Um, so definitely don't go anywhere past there. It's not safe. Uh, but it's very comfortable in the hand. And like I said uh, a little earlier, I did move the pocket clip back and forth to see what I liked more. And uh, in this position here, I don't really feel it too much. I was feeling it more back here. Um, that's very cool knife. Nice. I love the sound it makes when you get the good opening on it. Let's do a couple quick measurements on this thing. Uh, one other thing I will say for the ergos, ergos, blah, can't talk, um, has a nice little ramp here, which I find very nice. It's not jimped or anything. But it's a nice place for your thumb to go. Um, it's not really going to be a heavy use knife, so I don't know if you really need jimping there anyway. I don't find it uncomfortable or something my finger was slipping around on on the you know the little boxes and stuff I was opening up um, yeah some measurements here each of these blocks represents an inch uh, blade length you are looking at yeah, about three point total blade length you're looking at three and a quarter uh, cutting edge is much smaller you're looking at about 3.1 on the cutting edge uh, overall length, let's see here, let's see, you are looking at about 7.2, 7.3 inches, uh, so it's definitely a nice size, but you do got to keep in mind for blade laws that's just over the 3 inch mark if your state uh, has a 3 inch carry law, so keep that in mind and be careful. 
but it is a very cool knife. And one thing I really like about it is it's, it's a slim profile. It's very light. Uh, let's measure it. Let's weigh this guy real quick. I am curious. I don't, hmm. I don't know. Maybe 2.3. Let's see. Let's see what we come up with. Say 2.3. I haven't been close yet. <laughs> uh 1.98 ounces wow all right off again <laughs> that's definitely a lightweight knife uh I, it's honestly been a joy to carry um when i first saw north star knife reviews put this out i was like eh, i don't know if i'm gonna like that or not but I'm, I'm excited to see something new and and you know i mean obviously this knife's been around for a couple years um i looked up some videos on the kershaw chill and then it goes six seven years back um, but it's a nice knife. Um, very slim profile, like I said. It's grippy. It's a great secondary carry. Um, you are creeping into the territory where it's a little expensive for the steel that's offered. Um, but like I said, you, you can get it for around 27 on Amazon. I'm sure if you look around, you might find it a little cheaper. This is probably a knife that goes on sale uh, on Blade HQ or something. So if you like it, keep an eye out. Um, I actually like it a lot. I, if, if I see this on sale someday, I probably will pick it up. Um, I love Kershaw. Um, speaking of Kershaw, I got a, a review coming up on the Kershaw Leak. I've mentioned it on the channel as a knife that I am a big fan of. Uh, it's the first knife I got my wife to carry. And my daughter has one as well. And I won one on uh, National Knife Day from SMKW. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a review for that. That is made in America, so I'll be doing an American beer for that. Uh, I believe it's a beer from Oregon. Um, but yeah, this was a fun knife to look at. Um, I do have viewers out there that are new to knives, uh, some of my family, friends. Um, and if you happen to be new, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to a newer carrier, um, only because it's so easy to fail. I mean, you want something that's going to reliably shoot out. That's why I like the Kershaw League so much. Uh, some people are, you know, for some reason against assisted knives, but I think they have their purpose. And like I said, I'm very happy to have my wife carry one and my daughter is learning how to use one. Um, so I'm excited about that. And I love Kershaw. I'm not going to lie to you. I have a blur. Um, I've got a, a handful of leaks now. Uh, Kershaw, I have a TX tool um, that I work on knives with. It's a great company. Um, I think they deserve more attention. I, I, you know, I guess they had a couple rough years there or whatever, but this is cool. Um, I like it. Thank you guys for including me in this. Um, I'm really excited for the next knife I get, the Elk Ridge of... Uh, Oof, brain for it. Oh, the Elkridge Bowie. <laughs> it's a fixed knife. Uh, I haven't had one of them on the channel yet, but so I'm excited about that. And uh, stay tuned. Like I said, RJ's Knives will be getting this next. Uh, thank you, everybody, for staying to the end of the video. Uh, real quick, this beer is for North Star Knife Reviews. Cheers, brother. Wow. That's pretty good. A um, little hoppier than I thought it would be for a uh, lager, but it's tasty. I can see this being good with uh, some Chinese food or whatever. Um, for a review score, I'm going to give the Sing Tao. Mm, I'll give this a 7.1. 7.1 for Sing Tao lager. Um, not bad, honestly. I like it. Um, yeah, I hope everyone is well out there and remember you can't buy happiness, but you can buy knives and beer. That's pretty darn close, right? Beer money out. <laughs> you think you got a big mouth. <laughs> Say hi, daddy. <laughs> oh, you really think Daddy's here? I'm sorry. That is my hand.